Hi, welcome to Irvine Pets and Company. I'm your host, Kathy Graves. And with me to start the show is one of our longtime dog volunteers, Frank. And you have this big, handsome guy with you. Who is this? This is Nash. Uh -huh. He's about nine years old, okay. and uh, he work, works very well on the leash and is looking for a new home. Well, Nash is looking for a good home, and so are all the animals here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. So please stay with us for the next 30 minutes, and we'll be introducing you to many, many more dogs, cats, and rabbits that are available here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. Usually you have the big dogs, but I can see how you could not resist this one. Today I couldn't resist bringing Robbie in. No. This is Robbie who's considered to be terrier mix, but mm -hmm. I was walking him for a while and I can't find any of the mix. Ah, no. <laughs> He's really pretty. This is a 100% terrier. He's beautifully colored as you can see. He's got a beautiful black and white face and he's actually got a beautiful brown streak on the back. So it's almost like you never go anywhere without your coat, do you? Extra playful, 100% terrier. Loves to run, loves to jump, loves to play. Will carry his leash. Will probably carry a lot more things with him also. Um, mm -hmm. For anyone that likes a dog that's small, that's controllable, that's fun, that's up for anything. Uh, <laughs> yes. You wake up in the morning and you're up for it, Robbie's up for it. Uh -huh. Absolutely a wonderful terrier. Don't expect Robbie to be here very long because really wants a home. Comes up to everybody with this beautiful face and asks, can I come home? I couldn't sanction it more. Please find Robbie a home. An absolutely gorgeous terrier. Well, he's a wonderful little dog and he would fit into just about any home or any home I can't think of that he wouldn't add a lot of brightness and love to. Cindy, look at that tail go. I think this is a nonstop tail and smile. It is, this is Mandy and she's five years old. She's a, um, a, a, a miniature poodle mi uh, mix, but I'm, I'm thinking she's got some Shih Tzu in her. Just something oh, about the look of her face, but definitely, mm -hmm. definitely they got her listed as a poodle. And she's very sweet. She's adorable and just looks happy. She has things to do and places to go, I believe all the time. Somebody obviously spent lots of time training her. She walks really well. She sits pr up pretty. She begs. She um, very, very cute. Very, and she's just um, so easy to get to know and if very, very friendly. Yeah, and she's just a little over a year, so there's still puppy in her. But now she's, she's five. She's, she's five. Oh, she is five. She's I'm five. sorry. I looked at. I well, see, she looks so young, Mandy. I thought you were only one. She's holding her age well. But uh, yeah, she's an adorable little dog and somebody who likes to go for a walk, so just have her sit in your lap. I think she'd just be perfect. Yes, yeah, she's a great little lap dog, and um, I, I've, I'm sure she'll go very quickly. She's beautiful. Oh, well, she's just adorable. So she's another one of our third chance dogs, as we've talked about. So somebody looking for just a perfect little companion will go with you anywhere. This is Mandy. Mary Lou, you have the dog with the smile. Look at that face. Isn't that a face to die for? It is. Come on, Francis. It is. <laughs> this is Francis, the boy Francis. Okay. He is believed to be about four years old, mm -hmm. and he came in on our third chance program. All right, and if you'll explain what that is in case somebody hasn't heard of it before. Third chance is a program which we feel is fairly unique for uh, city shelters. We go out to other shelters that are underfunded and uh, don't have as much space as we do. Right. We bring the dogs here, friends, it's going to sit, <laughs> uh, that are, uh, uh, they don't have the resources that we do. So we bring the dogs here and we adopt them out from here. We do, and we do it with cats also. So we've been able to save a lot of lives that way. Plus, Francis is such a cutie. He it's is. So I may, I'd like to throw in that 
uh, their chance is funded by donations. Yes, it is. It's all, all donations. So and Francis is a sweet, sweet, affectionate dog. Easy on the leash. Oh, well, he's wonderful. Uh, he's a stocky dog, but as I say, a very friendly dog. Probably likes to play with other dogs, too. Yes. So if somebody has a dog, he'd be a great companion. Right. Well, if you're looking for a dog that will always be smiling at you, this is Francis. Frank, this little girl has lots of good stuff in her, doesn't she? Yes, uh, this is Tia. Uh huh. She's a uh, blend of many uh, <laughs> dogs, I think. Lots of, uh, lots of good things. She was found as a stray, okay? Uh -huh. And we, th we think she's about eight years old. Okay. Uh, she's real sweet. She loves belly rubs. She loves to be petted. And she's a senior citizen uh -huh. just looking for a new permanent home. Oh, she Oop. is. And actually, we say senior, but at eight in her size, she's right. really not that old. Right. But we have that good uh, Seniors for Senior program, too, which she would qualify for. Yes. If you are a senior and come in and you are a good fit for another senior animal, then we waive the adoption fee. It's paid for with donation so what a great deal and you get a great dog right and that's in her favor it is yeah. it is but uh, she could probably use a little bit of exercise yes I don't think she's missed or been late for too many meals in <laughs> I don't <her> think life. <laughs> so <laughs> so somebody that likes to take nice walks we could all use a little exercise yeah. so she'd be a great companion for that Deborah you're here with another absolutely adorable dog who is this <laughs> This is Dustin, uh -huh. and he's a Pomeranian. How cute. And he's five years old, mm -hmm. and he's been treated for a skin condition, so that's why his skin is shaved here. All right. But it's, his fur's growing back beautifully, and he seems to be fine now. He's all cured with whatever it was. So he's just, his, his fur will grow back, and he'll, yeah. he'll be beautiful again, but he is so cute, his little face. It's a good walker, loves, uh -huh. to, loves treats, very playful, and just a sweetheart. He's just a good all-around dog, and that brings up all the wonderful things here we have at the shelter. We do have a uh, vet who's here full-time. We have vet tech. So when uh, dogs like Dustin are all animals that come in that just need a little bit of treatment, that gets taken care of. So when they go out, they're all healthy. They, been spayed or neutered, they have a microchip in case they happen to get out, it brings them back. They have their shots and inspection. I mean, they're just little packages ready to go. That's for sure, yes. Well, Dustin is just an adorable little dog, and I know lots of people love Pomeranians, so yes. he would just be perfect for you. Darling, this is an adorable dog. <laughs> Very cute. Who is this? This is Duke. Uh -huh. He's a seven-year-old you're saying Cocker Spaniel mix, but he's a lot of Cocker Spaniel. He is. I don't see anything else in there. Now, since he's been at the shelter, he's gotten a haircut. Aha. Uh -huh. And he is very attentive. He wants to please you. He and does. he does pull a little bit, but you know, that's just getting used to. It's just some training involved. Okay. And the short time I've been with him, he's responded really well. Oh, that's great. Uh, he's seven, but boy, is he still spunky and spry. Isn't he? Yep. Yes. He's got a lot of life in him. Very gentle, very sweet disposition, very treat motivated. Mm -hmm. He'll just about do anything for you. He's a love. He <laughs> is. He's just adorable. Uh, Cocker Spaniels are such nice dogs, too. They do take some training. Yep. And uh, But all dogs do. So it's nothing All about do, that. And he's very motivated. That's if great. If someone were to adopt him, he would be a great dog. He is so cute. So if you're looking for a wonderful dog that's great to walk with, great to play with, this is Duke. Lori, this is such a cute little dog, but we need to get him a new name. Yeah, it's kind of a strange name. It is. Smalls. It is. Smalls. Well, he I is guess small, but uh, he's a sweetheart. He's very young. He's only a, a, about a year old, maybe it's a little a bit over a year. It's a and, puppy. Uh, he needs a little schooling, but he's very pleasant. He's uh -huh. very friendly. Uh -huh. He just needs to learn a few things, like well. not to pull on a leash, maybe. <laughs> but at least he's manageable at that size. Oh yeah, size. yeah. Well, he's so so tiny. Yeah. And, yes. But that's it. That's all. You, that's that's what you get. He's full grown. So you that's know, right. if you want a tiny little dog, here here's Smalls. <laughs> There's Smalls, and that's what his name says. Yep. Well, he is a cute little guy, and he'd be great for somebody with a condo, maybe 
no yard. A lot of people don't have yards anymore, but just take him on walks a couple of times a day. Or let him run around the couch. Oh, absolutely. Well, he could. He could, couldn't he? <laughs> well, he may not have had any training up until now, so just a little bit of that. And he would be a perfect guy. Perfect little size. Yep. Perfect little dog. Great coloring. And so friendly. So if you're looking for a small dog, this is small. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. In a good mood. She's just as happy as can be. She my sweet little angel. She's my DOG. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Hi, Erica. Hi, Kathy. You have a gorgeous cat. Who is this? This is Nana. Nana. She's a little shy, mm -hmm. but she is so sweet. As soon as you start scratching her, oh, she loves it. She does. And Nana's one of those kitties where the shelter atmosphere is just not to her liking. Um, she tends to hide in her cage, so I think that's why she's been here a little bit. People just yeah. don't see her. Well, it's loud, and yes. if the kitty's a little scared, then yeah, they kind of hide, so. Yeah. And Nana's very special. She's a Manx, or has a lot of Manx in her. She doesn't have the roundish body of a Manx, but she does have the little Manx tail, so yes. there's some there in her heritage. Yes. Somebody who's got some patience. Mm -hmm. This is gonna make the best kitty. She would. So if you have a quieter home and you're looking for just a little love that will sit with you for hours, this is Nana. Nana. Well, you have a big purple here. Who is this? I do. This is Suzanne. Oh, she's so sweet. Very sweet. She's just purring away here. She is. Mm -hmm. She's six years old. Mm -hmm. She's just a very sweet girl. Oh, she is. She is. And she just loves to sit in your lap, and I think she'll probably be making muffins. Kitty muffins, we call oh, them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but she also has her playful side, too. She does. Yeah. So Suzanne wants to get down, she wants to play, but then other times she just wants to sit in your lap. Yes, a little of both. A <laughs> little of both. And she has that beautiful torty coloring and very soft fur. Yes, she's a very sweet girl. She is, she is. Like all of our kitties here, Suzanne's looking for a great forever home. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of gorgeous cats right now. In fact, we have a very large selection, as I like to say we at do. the moment. We do, we do. <laughs> we do, so we'd love to have you come over and see some of these wonderful cats. Maybe take one home. Maybe take Suzanne home. Lori, it's still kitten season around here. I think kitten season is now year-round for some reason. I fear it is. Yes, I do have this. some little kittens. Uh-huh. But this is sort of a proper age kitten. A <laughs> teenager. Yes, yeah, she's five months. He, she's to, he, excuse me. I want to call her Shadow. His, his name is Shadow. Well, I don't you know why. You expect black and male. I mean, <laughs> female you get for some reason. Yeah. Male, and I, th I think this may be the Shadow. Could, oh, maybe that's it, because he does have a roommate that uh, we were having troubles with his agent. He wouldn't come on today, but the roommate is black, and that's not Shadow, that's Nikki. But we do have a lot of kittens, a lot of these teenagers. <laughs> They're so much fun. And this is a medium-haired cat, uh -huh. so it's it's brushing, but not quite as much as if it were long-haired. No, no. And been raised here and needs really to get out and have a house to play in. Oh, this absolutely. Is a very playful cat. She has a hammock, and he has a hammock, and loves to hang upside down out of it and bat <laughs> at you. I know, there's so much fun to watch, and we do let get them out here and we get them into playrooms, but they really need to get into a home, especially the younger ones. Well, all of our cats need to get into a home, but these guys have lots of energy. So if you're looking for kittens and teenagers, and also obviously our adult cats, we still have a great selection here. 
Well, we have high energy to boot in this one, don't we? <laughs> this is Michelle. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's very playful. She's very playful. <laughs> we think she's about two years old, but still lots of kitten in there. Lots of kitten. And she purrs. Oh, I don't know if you can hear it, but she's just a little motorboat. <laughs> but Michelle has places to go and things to do, yes. and she's going to tell you that. <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> yes. I think lots of string toys, stick yes. toys, just any kind of toy to keep her entertained. She is going to be very fun. Yeah, she is. And she's beautiful face. It's gorgeous, oh, soft yes. gray coloring. But uh, just just perky and spunky and full sweet. of energy. Uh -huh, it's very oh. sweet. I think an active house would yes, be just definitely. fine with her. We have some kitties that prefer a quieter Quiet. house, but Michelle would do good. Well, Michelle wants lots of energy. She wants lots of action. Yes. So if you're looking to add a lot of energy to your house, or if you already have some and want to match it, I think Michelle would be perfect. Good match. Yes. yes. <laughs> Whoops! Whoopoo! <laughs> Brenda, you have an absolute stunner here. Yeah. She is gorgeous. She's a beautiful girl. This is Coda. Coda. Okay. She's a year and a half old, mm -hmm. and she was part of our Third Chance program. That's great. We talk about the Third Chance with dogs, but we also do Third Chance with cats. Mm -hmm. This gorgeous, gorgeous cat was probably in someone's home, right. ended up in another shelter where her time may have been running out. Right. And so uh, we went out, brought her back give her a chance for a real forever yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's a very sweet girl, playful, mm -hmm. affectionate. She likes to be in your lap. Great, great. It's an all-around good cat. Mm -hmm. She has the most gorgeous emerald green eyes yes, you ever want to see. And beautiful fur, beautiful fur. Black cats are very lucky in some countries. I know I've had black cats and they've been very, very lucky for me. So, and sometimes they get overlooked for some reason. I don't know why. They're I don't awesome either. Cats. When you can have a stunning cat like Coda. So if you're looking for an absolutely gorgeous girl, this is Coda. We have several beautiful torties here at the shelter right now. And this is another one. Who is this? This is Melissa. Oh, she's so pretty. And she's about three. Uh -huh. Spade, of course. Mm -hmm. And she's, I think they call her officially a tortie tabby because she's. Oh, she does have some lots tabby, of tabby in there. floating around in there. And I think she's very laid back, too. Yes, she's a little, they say shy, except for her owner died. Mm -hmm. And she, the family tried to take her, but they already had too many pets and things. It's, it looks like a neighbor tried, but they just couldn't they, for a variety of reasons. And so she wound up here. Mm -hmm. She's apparently good with dogs and probably with children. Mm -hmm. And Although other cats. she seems kind of subdued for small children. Right. But she really loves to be rubbed. I mean, it's good. Now that's a good reminder, looking at Melissa here, uh, those of us who have animals, we really do need to make arrangements because when we pass on, we need to make sure that our animals are also taken care of. Now this family, it sounds like they really tried to find a home for her, but there just weren't enough homes. There's just more animals than there are homes, which is also another issue with spay and neuter. But, Please make arrangements for your pets because we never know when our time is going to come and we need to make sure that our animals have a safe place to go to. We like Melissa and she is so sweet. So if you're looking for a cat that's used to being in a family around other animals. Yes, and she's very cuddly. Yes, yeah, so if you were to have that arrangement, she'd be perfect for you. Erica, you have one of our special senior kitties, don't you? This is Buster. He is a Buster. <laughs> he is just a lover. And he's nine years old, but has tons of energy and uh, loves to play. He's just a good old guy. Yeah. He's just a good old guy. And something I'd like to mention with Buster, when we show the dog, everybody knows that you need to have a license for your dog mm -hmm. in the city of Irvine or any city that you're in. But a lot of people don't realize they can also license their cats. Mm. Yeah, so, and it's a good thing to do. All of our cats and dogs and rabbits have microchips. So if they come into a shelter, they're scanned, we can get it back to the owners. Okay. But if they also have a license, it's another great way of identifying them. And a lot of cats will wear the collar with, mm. with the license. So if somebody happens to find them, they will see that. Uh, somebody just picking up a cat is not going to see a microchip. True. But they are going to see a license. Now we don't want our kitties outside. No. 
but sometimes they sneak out. They do. They're sneaky. <laughs> yeah. Somebody like Buster, although I don't think he'd go very far. <laughs> so it's just another great way of identifying That's your animal. good information. But he's a senior for senior. I'd like to talk about with the dogs that uh, we would waive his adoption fee for a senior. But he's just a big old good around. Love bug. Good all around yes, cat. Well, please come see Buster. <laughs> for more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our just office. Been in the heart by a kitten with big green eyes and snow white paws. I know for certain. She'll be climbing my curtain Leaving her hairballs on the floor But I like cats So, I got this new family And I don't know what it is about this one But she can't seem to put down that toy All day long Tap, 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 tap Oh, and she even talks to it She talks to that more than she talks to him What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Well, Michelle is here with our first rabbit, and he is a deer. He is a deer. Yes. He literally is. He's he is. a sweet bunny. He's about two years old. Mm -hmm. He's a Dutch. Okay. And he just loves to be petted and um, has just got a great disposition. Now, what makes him a Dutch when you look at it? What makes him a Dutch is that he's two tone. Um, he has like a kind of like they call it a saddle feature mm -hmm. on his face. Mm -hmm. And his back feet ha are half one color and half another color. So generally, the Dutch are half white and half another color. Okay, and he's beautiful. And when you brought him on, you said he had his tuxedo on. He <laughs> certainly looks like it. He's ready for a night out in a new home. He is. <laughs> now, uh, we sometimes pair rabbits up here, but uh, does he have to go with another rabbit? or would you know, be He okay? actually would be just fine just by himself. He's a sweet boy, mm -hmm. and he um, he's just very good by himself. Okay. He, um, he really doesn't have to go with a... Um, uh, oh, a girl. <laughs> okay. All right. And that's nice to know because uh, a lot of people haven't had rabbits before and they may just want to start with one to bond with them and find out about the care. So if somebody out there looking for maybe just one rabbit, a right. deer would be a perfect choice. He would be a deer. Yes. And Bobby's here with a very special rabbit. Well, all of our rabbits are special, but this one is even more so. And why is that? This is a Belgian hare, and oh. that is a kind of an unusual bunny for us to see at the shelter. Mm -hmm. She's a real, real sweetheart. She is adorable. And is a real people lover. Mm -hmm. uh, we do know that maybe not very good with a dog in the house. Oh, okay. We do know that, but, but would be a love bug for someone. Also would be very good to bond. Mm -hmm. um, bunnies are real social mm -hmm. animals, and she likes some of the boys in the shelter. Oh, -ho. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's really great if you have two because while you're gone, they keep each other company. And it really is fun to have two bunnies because they make such good companions. Doesn't mean they're going to love you less. In fact, you'll have two more, <laughs> two more parts of love. Well, and her name is, is Kendall. Kendall. Well, if you're looking for a very unusual rabbit, you can just tell by the shape of her face and then the spots. And if you're a real rabbit person, she would be a great, great pet for you. We've talked about rabbits and actually all of our animals here and we talk about how rabbits really do get along better sometimes with the opposite sex. It's nice to have a boy rabbit and a girl rabbit. But please remember, like all animals, rabbits do need to be spayed or neutered because there just aren't enough homes and rabbits do multiply like rabbits. Don't <laughs> they they certainly do. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, yeah, this yes. little guy is a product of um, unspayed, unneutered parents. Mm. So he was um, owner relinquished okay. for that reason. The family wasn't able to care for um, the entire litter. Okay, and who is this? This is Pewter, and Pewter. he is about five months old, so he's still a baby. Um, rabbits don't fully mature till they're about a year old. Oh, okay. So he's actually still growing. 
Okay. Now the little nose on rabbits keeps going all the time. I'm sure people <laughs> notice that. Why is that? Well, rabbits are prey animals, yes. so they're constantly sniffing the environment, um, searching for predators. So wow. that's why their nose is constantly going. And even the pet rabbits, because these are obviously domesticated rabbits and come from a long line, but that, that gene, that ancestry is still there, that they're Absolutely. always protecting themselves. Um, they are burrowers, and that's why these guys, even though they're domesticated, they still scratch and dig and because they are um, from um, burrowing rabbits in the wild, like the cottontails. Yeah. Well, this is really a cute little guy. This is pewter. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. Well, this is the last rabbit and last animal we'll have a chance to visit with today. And who is this big, handsome rabbit? This is Chin Chin, and she's what's called a chinchilla bunny. You can see Looks that. Looks like a chinchilla. <laughs> She's a real sweet bunny, very shy. She needs a special home with someone who will give her lots of love and patience. Mm -hmm. She may take a while, but she will become very good pet. Well, she is, and she's just a gorgeous rabbit. And Chin Chin is like all of the animals here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. They're just looking for a good, permanent, loving home. And remember when our animals go out, they're spayed, they're neutered, they have a microchip, they've had all their shots, they've had a vet check, and so they're just great little animals. So if you're looking for a new pet, please come see us here at the Irvine Animal Care Center and next time on Irvine Pets and Company. Mm -hmm.